as a Muslim, you might not find it necessary. However, you miss out on context. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Slow down, slow down. As when you Muslim, slow down, you may What's not your name? understand. Why are you so condescending? You told me to slow down. No, yeah. I'm asking too fast. Oh, so slow down, speak like that? Okay, carry on speaking like that. As a Muslim, yeah. knowing how no, slow down. the Muslim die yeah. might not help slower. you very well slower. in understanding how to get to slow down in You're too fast. the Islamic context. No, you're fast. However, slow down. What Slower. do you miss out on? Slower, my friend. My goodness, how different. That's you? too fast. So come here, come here. Come no, no, no. Keep your distance no, come, come because here. I don't want my hand to punch I, your hand I, by I, mistake. I don't so know. slow down. Slower. Come near, come near. I think I have a hearing problem. Come, come near. No, I don't have a hearing problem. You don't. Okay. You're too fast. Slow down. Okay, come near, come near. Come on, tell come me. Near. Can I come near to you? Will I help? Keep the distance. Okay. My private space. If you buy that my private space, you'll be in trouble. Oh my goodness, sir. Yes. Okay. Right. Now, say it slowly as you were saying. I don't think you can hear me very well, sir. I can hear you. Yeah. You can? Yeah. Perfect. Then. Slowly. Slowly. Oh, you're going to get me slowly. I cannot get across the point that I'm not moving in that case. Go on, slowly. I cannot get across the point that I'm moving in that case. Do it slowly. So, I think so this okay. individual, yes. Hi. do you, do you find any sincerity in this guy? No. When somebody requests you to speak slowly, you don't like, you know, look half times the speed or one quarter of the speed like you do in YouTube. What a joker this guy is. I asked you to slow down means relax. Don't just rush to your argument. My point was, when you say we have to know, we, not Islamically, we, the nature of the death of Musa al-Islam for my own salvation. I want to know how is it important. I didn't mention salvation. I said, I asked you, and you are replying in response. So let me ask you again. Do you believe the Bible is preserved enough for us to make sense of what the reality and the truth was as it's been transmitted? No, 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 preserved anything in the Quran. But I think yes. What is the answer? Yes, yes. So you think the scripture is preserved enough to an extent that we can be true about the reality of the information that has been transmitted, right? Sure. Right. The, your earlier scripture of Moses dates to what period? It doesn't say no matter what time they dated. I'm asking you, what period did it date to? Uh, most of the things that were written at that time were written on uh, parchments that wouldn't uh, last until the time. I am not asking you what is written in gold or not. I'm simply asking you how far back when it comes to extant manuscripts, for example, that the writings of Moses go back to. I have no idea. Have a guess. 20 years from now? It would have to be thousands of years ago. Thousands of years. Yep. How far away is it from the death of Moses and the writing that survives? Guess again. Most likely, most of the text that would have been written at the time of his death survived that long. I didn't ask you any of that. I want to know roughly, if you didn't know, I can tell you, from the death of Moses, the prophet, peace be upon him, and the surviving writings again, attributed to Moses. Be that long How long is that? Those writings will probably deteriorate over time, thousands of years. So likely, that what you would find would be then. Um, yeah, so, so how far are they from the original time frame of Moses and his death compared to the extant manuscripts? One year, two year, 50 years? How far are they from the time of it? But it, the, the problem is, it is not uh, dictated exactly when he died, so we have no idea when he died. Did I ask you when he died? Well, when you asked me the time of his death. No. You do you believe he wrote? Do you believe he wrote the Torah? I believe the first five books. Good. The first five books was one which was written by the Torah and the extant manuscripts that we have. How far is the gap? It might be thousands of years as well. So you're okay yes. for a thousand years of gap and you believe the transmission hasn't suffered any corruption? Does anything to do with the way that the stories are preserved, are presented today? Uh, 
Do you accept when there's a thousand year gap at least? Not necessarily. Because there is so, 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 we're talking about the Torah, the manuscript of the Torah, and the time of death of Moses the prophet upon him be peace is at least 1,000 years old. 1,000 year gap. So I want to know what is the mechanism of guarantee that you have in place to ensure that there was no corruption in between this thousand years? Whoever transmitted it, how do you know and what mechanism was there in place to ensure that there was no corruption of the text? That might be uh, probably more racist or Levi's than myself. But in terms of uh, the Hadith translation... Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. When I say stop, stop doesn't mean talk. If you don't understand what I'm saying, stop. So you have a manuscript... Of, uh, there is no Islamic version of transition of scriptures within the Jewish text. Relax. Don't be irritated. We want to establish. We want to establish. How can we be certain? Do you remember what I said? Text. Are you my teacher? Are you my parents? We have a discussion. I am your interlocutor. So listen to what I have to say. Some level of respect for you. You had provided no respect. You showed no respect from the very beginning, did you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You showed no respect earlier on. You were mocking. You were a mocker earlier on. Have you unfortunately? So if I want to correct something that you were saying or raise a point while you were making a completely different point, I will interject. What's the point I'm making? We're trying to essentially make a point to do with how do we know that in the thousands of years between the death of Moses yeah. and uh, whatever surviving text that we have of the first five books, yeah. how do we know that there isn't some kind of, uh, um, uh, I guess, corruption, uh, Torah version of corruption, the, of the Torah textual version, corruption, Torah version of the way that Islamic text, textual has corruption, been, uh, translated over not the Islamic year. text, no, the Torah and the extant manuscript. How can you be sure there was no textual corruption? Corruption. Do you know the difference between the Samaritan Pentateuch and the Hebrew Pentateuch? No, I don't. But then you're, you're, you're trying to ask me, how do I know? There has to be a corruption in the sense that when you have the Islamic translation... No, I'm not talking about Islamic translation. So you're assuming things wrongly. So, you're going to make you're going to make this entire argument without ever referring to the Hadith science. Uh, ever. Are you? Okay, let me tell you something. Are, are you not let me tell you something. Let me, way let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay. What, what's your name? What's your name? David. David, my name is Munso. I, I'm, I'm aware, I'm aware. Right. Yeah. What we're trying to establish is the certainty of a text that we can be sure of. This, this is, by the way, very far away from where I first spoke about. What did you speak about? Wait, 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 wait. What did I start with? I started about preservation of the book. No, no. Is there a book on planet Earth which is preserved enough so we can be sure about his message? Well, I was making with a gentleman who's no longer here anymore. That was his discussion was about making, him. That wasn't my discussion. That is where you carried on from. No. My discussion, my discussion was what I started and talking my about. My discussion are you was to do with the entity. Are, are you? Are you, ha are you having some discomfort having this conversation with me on the issues of preservation of the text? My are you uncomfortable about it? Having previously was to do with the fact I'm not interested in the no context. I am not interested in that gentleman's conversation. That's why I geared it back I to my conversation. I'm saying I was having a Are you uncomfortable? Are you uncomfortable feeling insecure to have a conversation about preservation of the text? Hmm? Do you see any, dis any insecurities or discomfort? From I, I, I have some suspicion about it. Okay, but do you see any? Hmm? Because as yes. far as I can yes. see, yes. you have been the person who was yeah. the commander of these conversations. So for some reason, you feel as though I am... Well, why are you not engaging with it then? This is the conversation. So I asked you again. Okay. So you have unfortunately... Respond to what I've just I said. The conversation. Respond to what I've just said. Taking it to a completely different conversation. David, this has no why are you feeling so insecure with, with the current I conversation? Speaking about previously. No. Why are you so insecure, why feeling so inferior? So why do you feel because I am not interested in the previous conversation. You, that wasn't my interest anyway. Why are you so perturbed by my initial conversation? Look, I can say everything I, that you're David, saying to me, to you David, as well. David, and I can sense that this conversation might not be all that fruitful. Do you know why it's not going to be fruitful? Shall I tell you why? I believe the issue because you're not interested in my conversation. No, you are insecure to have a conversation with me on the issues of preservation of the text. You want to drive away back to the conversation you had with the other individual. It's okay for you to do so. However, 
run away? Who's running away from the preservation yeah, of the text discussion? Because you have driven away. From what? I have to do so. From my initial conversation. David, However, when I it is not funny anymore. My it's not funny. Conversation, yeah, I, I agree. Do you know it's not so funny? I'm not sure why you're quite left. Do you know why it's not funny? However, what I will say is because you have driven away from my conversation, I have no reason to then allow you to be driven from this conversation. So if you want to stare back to where I was previously, you can do that. Subhanallah. However, a brother invited me to speak to this gentleman over there. He wanted to talk about the manuscripts and so on. So that was my... Oh, let me talk. Wait, 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 wait. I am talking. Stop there. I'm talking. So now, so as, as, I wa as I was there, as I was there, he wasn't... Why are you interrupting my conversation? Hey, David, 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 I am talking. Have some respect. David, have some respect. To do with, uh, have, with some, the, have, have some etiquette. You, uh, not like you sorry, the guy that have you some etiquette, at, David. I am talking. You were someone to speak. I am you talking, guys, David. You were not. You're not a child. I'm not going to say shut up and listen, David. I'm talking. Correct information as to regarding what we were talking about, David. What we were talking about was completely different from my preservation. If that's what he told you, that is absolutely correct. But if you insist by knowing that, and you still want to carry on with, with your tirade, then please carry on. Now, David, if you have the willingness to engage in a discussion which is meaningful, leave aside your slow talking, right? Have a meaningful discussion and, 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 and don't interrupt when I'm talking, right? And I, you expect the same from me. If you say anything, you keep on interrupting true, again. Then I, I will interrupt. But carry on. So, I'll, I'll keep in the so, so my intention was to talk about the manuscript because someone asked me to go and speak to you, but you were busy with another conversation. I let you continue to speak, so I came back. So now I've come back again and I started to talk and initiate the conversation about manuscripts and preservation. Even though you may be talking about bananas and chocolates with the other individuals, I started to... Hey, in wait a hey don't interrupt. Said something don't interrupt. I was not speaking don't interrupt. about bananas and chocolates. I said, I said, I was talking distinctly look at this guy. About, no, I no, said, do not even if you be were... Honest, be a man of integrity. Don't mention bananas and chocolates. David, mention exactly David, what I was talking about. David, you're Mansour, not a child. Mansour, you are the size of a child, but you, Mansour... Subhanallah, these people, no wonder, know, right? no wonder. It's okay for man to insult me. He can like me to uh, a child. David. But I cannot say that man is the size of a child. That is incorrect for me to say. David. Why, why is that man David. Explain to me why you are able sure, sure. To, to make mockeries. But I can do David, let me tell you something. Do you by any chance have a fragile legal? By me making fun of you, does it not upset you? Finish what you're saying. Okay. By me making fun of you, does it upset you? Does it in some way make what you feel What fun did I make of you right oh, now? Wait, I, I, you said I was a child. You no, now, now, now. You said, no, no, no. no what did I say now? now? You said. Oh, not now. He goes no, back again. You remember what we said? No, to have a meaningful man conversation, man we have to stop all of that. He wants to go back. Myself. If you can insult me, Mansour, Look. and I can insult you back, is that fair? Because respect is reciprocal. Remember it what you said, David? Given, David. And then received. David. You agree, Mansour? I agree. Awesome. Great. Right. Carry you remember on. what I said? If we were going to have a meaningful conversation, we should stop talking like slow. And, right? Didn't we say that? That means anything. Mansour has hearing problems. Subhanallah. Anything what does that, that means. Subha I'll tell you what it means. Okay. If you don't interrupt and you learn, I'll teach you. So yeah, when. Now, like, it's like, damn. I will teach you if you don't know about it. I will teach you. No problem. I can go with it. Right. 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 Thank you, brother. So, so I said, instead of doing all of that, thank you. Instead of doing all of that, let's have a meaningful conversation. So when you were talking about this gentleman, I said, even if you were talking about what I said, it's all on camera. I never said you were talking about bananas and chocolate. I you, said, you, you don't said interrupt. Exactly those words. Don't interrupt. Mansour, you are. Don't understand. interrupt. Don't interrupt. Exactly those Let words. me finish. Don't it's interrupt. Camera, and I hope you can rewind it. When you don't interrupt what I'm I, talking. I he said those words. David. If Mansour, you don't interrupt. Lie. Be Mansour, a civilized individual. I am somebody who likes truth. What did I say? So if. Okay. What did I say? Lie, what did I say? You said you did not mention. No, what did I say exactly? If you tell a lie. Hang on. What did I say exactly? In which investigation instance? Now? No. Or when you mentioned bananas and chocolates? No, no. When I talk about chocolates and bananas, yes. what did I say exactly? So you were mentioning that when I was talking to the, the previous individual, that you had come here to talk about preservation of text. And I was talking about bananas and chocolates. Did I say that? That's exactly what you said. Did I say that? No, that's not what I said. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come in, come in, come in, come in. If you were talking about bananas and chocolates. Thank you. Someone was listening. Kudos to you, brother. Jazakallah khairan. Now, what I said is, even... He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. It's, it's all on camera. Hey, David, 
you only need to watch when it's uploaded. Okay. Right? Very so, well. and you will then realize that, okay, perhaps you should have listened a bit more carefully. Like, I need to listen carefully too. So, what I'm saying is, I say, when you have the conversation, even if you were talking bananas and chocolates, I would drive the conversation back to the preservation and text. That would be my intention of having the conversation on that topic. And that's precisely what I did. I started talking about preservation of a text. So, this is my particular choice of theme to talk about because that is what I thought you wanted to have a discussion earlier on. So if you are comfortable, wait, wait, let me finish. If you are interested in having a conversation on the preservation of the Bible, that's what we are going to now talk about. And I already laid the foundation of where the problem lies in terms of the transmission of the text of the Bible. There is at least a thousand year gap between the author of the text, Moses, according to you, upon him be peace, and the extant manuscript of the Bible, like see the Dead Sea Scrolls found in the Qumran. Yeah, Dead Sea Scrolls, right? This is the oldest. So there's a thousand year gap. We want to know, as a non-Christian, what mechanism did you have in place that you can be sure and be certain about that there was no textual corruption happening within the thousand year gap? Because normally as time goes by, people can manipulate and change and distort the text, as we have seen in the example of the biblical text. There is a book written by Metzger, Brutz Metzger passed away recently, co-authored by, co by um, Bart Ehrman. It's called the text in the New Testament from corruption right and to restoration this is a, a vague memory of title but it's there corruption to restoration of the text right? I can give you a picture I can pull it out exactly title so there are books written about showing how the text of the Christian Jewish scripture has been corrupted through omissions alterations and additions so we know that this has happened I want to know this is a whole book about showing the corruption, intentional and otherwise, and otherwise. This is the quote, Bart Ehrman, the position I argue for in misquoting Jesus does not actually stand at odds with Professor I'm not talking about misquoting Jesus. The essential Christian beliefs are not affected by the textual variants in the manuscript. That's not my argument either. My argument isn't that the New Testament... No, my, my argument isn't... Let me go one second. My argument here is not that the major Christian dogma is affected or unaffected. Then My argument is there has there been. No books, hang on. My so argument is there are intentional. Why is he talking when I'm in, explaining to you? No, tell him to stop when I'm talking as to you. So what I'm saying is are there are textual corruption that happened across most agreed by text. those scholars there is on this because there are evidence by the documentary evidence. Yes. You can find the manuscript and. and you you can find an and another manuscript Bruce and you can and see Bart how they are different. Bart Ehrman and Bruce yeah. I'm not they quoting about Bart Ehrman. I'm not but talking about crucifixion. No, 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 no. Look, look at the problem. No, 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 no. There's a problem here. If you can quote um, Bart Ehrman and Bruce Ehrman. May I ask you this question? No, 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 according no, no, to the no, scholars, no, 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 according to Bart Ehrman and Bruce Metzger, do they consider? Then they also and it is their position that, that there has However, been textual corruption of the Bible? They would identify those as textual variants. So and corruption, that corruption, variants, corruption. No, no, this is an important point. Yeah. When he says textual variants, Mansour is trying to uh, interpolate that as corruptions. But Plus also, variants. Also, Bruce Ma Mansour spread the doctrines with them. Ma Mansour calls those so two, but well, those two No, 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 no. That Jesus was crucified. So. So let's go back. But the religious was crucified, and Muslims don't So this is a book. So if you're going to quote those two, why quote them? Want, they go directly. So here is a book that I'm referring to. Yeah, why quote it in the entirety? The text of the New Testament, its transmission. Yeah, there is no oh, wait, 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 slow down. Wait, wait, slow down. Yeah. Brutz Metzger, this book that he's written is called cool. The Text of the New Testament, yeah. and this is a subheading. Yeah. It's transmission and, right, and corruption, corruption yeah. and okay. restoration. Right. So does he believe the New Testament has, within its transmission, corruption happened? Right. Wait, yeah, so but when have he you says read the entire book? Thank you very much. Can I answer that? It, 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 okay, let's continue one. with David now. Just answer Mansell, what Go ahead. Go ahead. Said then. But, but what uh, Bruce Metzger uh, actually 
qualifies the statement of that uh, front of that book is that none of the core Christian doctrines are affected by whether you call them corruptions or textual variants. It does. Because it the does. Bible, the New Testament does well, not it claim does. Let me give you an example. The Quran. Let me give you an example how it does. Right. There are the three in heaven. Been identified uh, uh, in the NIV, wait a second, a wait a second. You, you are now going to help me with this, right? Go on. There is a verse in many of the manuscripts of the Bible which says... What is the verse? You know where it is? No, I don't. I you really don't. don't. It's in John one, somewhere. 1 John, John, John verse 5, uh, chapter 5, verse 7. Can I say 1 John? 1 John 5, 7. So you know my Bible better than me, so I'll be with you. Well, he, he knows second I know. Numbers. I thought he knows the entire thing. Uh, 1 right. John, hang on, 1 John, 1 John, 5, 1 John, 7, 1 John, 5, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Fellas, I'll read it for you. 1 John, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you've got King James, I don't mm -hmm. have a King James. Okay, right, and this says... Seven. There are three that testify, the spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater. So what have you got for your King James? And bear, see, that isn't in the original. Oh, wait, so wait, wait, let me open like this. Can I borrow this? Right. Here is one. And can I borrow yeah. yours? Right. Okay. For there are three that be a record in heaven. I'm more than happy to stand there. Come on, man. Somebody, go through it. Don't the, worry. Don't the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and the three are one. Yeah, and, and here we have, there are the three that testify. Mine, mine is the the Spirit, the Water, and the Blood, and these three agree. This is Do the you, original Greek. Uh, excuse yeah, me, please. No, can you not um, talk when I'm talking and then I'll let you talk? Is that fair? That's a good idea. Thank you. Well. Very good. So now what we have here is one version which is in this translation which is now helping me to make my point so, so this text is based on manuscripts of certain bible which says in the heaven that the three the father the word and the holy ghost and the three are one this brother please let me make my point this seems to be indicating that there is the Trinity verse, which talks about the Father and the Word, the whole second member of the Trinity, and the Holy Spirit, and they are one. Mm. Exactly the, the verse that we demand from the Christian to say, where is the Trinity in the Bible? So that there is this there. But guess what? That verse that we find here in this... In the King James Can version. I make my point? Thank you. Can I make my point? Do it. This is in a manuscript. This is in a manuscript of the Bible from the Middle Ages. Earliest manuscript, Greek manuscript, is from the 14th century. The earliest manuscripts don't have it. So now some Trinitarian enthusiast being frustrated, not finding a proof text for the Trinity, decided to make one up and added that in the Bible and then started propagating this as a scripture, holy scripture, only to be told by our good friend here that this is a corruption of the scripture. It is, let me finish. Am I allowed to speak? So well, one, only when I finish. That this is a, I, I, I find this is a forgery. Man, so I find this is a forgery that this verse was never in the Bible. He never this verse was him. not. Him. I, I think, think yeah. in fact, you would say, right. I'm aware so now, of everything so now, you're don't saying. Think that you should wait, so now, one form. second. Don't need to tell me I'm aware of Thank you. Saying. So, does this verse, because it's an. Just, just, there is no end. Just keep going. Keep going. I, I, I want to engage with you. So, does this verse have some kind of theological connotation because of adding that in the Bible? I'll give you the history of it. No, 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 no. Allow me to answer. So, so now, oh, go ahead. Allow answer. Me to have answer. What is my question? Is there a theological significance wait, 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 of the adding the text like of this? Does it have any implication of a doctrine involved? Explain. You, you mentioned that the later interpretation was around what date? I said 14th, 15th century. 14th, 15th century. By the 14th and 15th century. 
15 centuries. In fact, by 325, the Trinitarian doctrine is already well established. That has been later interpreted and absolutely zero effect on the Christian understanding so of the Trinity. Talking about that? So we can forget that at first. And isn't it wonderful that the New Testament, the Christian text, very simply, you go to the earliest, the earliest are generally uh, going to be the truest. So when you go to the original Greek, you're on firm ground. That later interpretation, I'll just reinforce this again, was, was what do you say, about 14th century, something like that? Mm -hmm. We know, and Mansour knows, that the Trinitarian doctrine, as espoused by the Nicene Creed, 325, was already firmly established for over a thousand years. Do you have years. a text in the Bible? A thousand years. Do you have a text Mansour. in the Bible? The, the three are one? What? Show me a text. Mansour, do you agree with what I've just no, said? No, no, hear, hear me what I'm saying. No, Will you you do you have... No, I'm, so I'm responding. He, he, he's failing I'm responding here. to you no, here. No, no, absolutely not. Remember what you said? Failing here. You said... Mansour raised the you said to say the Trinitarian doctrine. That, that apparent scripture do you find, and then, do you find a Trinitarian doctrine, this is the doctrine no, supported no, by a verse however, like this in the Bible? Do you have a verse in the Bible which shows that the three are one? What is Mansour saying? Okay, Mansour, Mansour has, isn't uh, making Mansour. actual points. Do you have a point? Do you have a text? Can I just show you my friend? Yeah. I am not interested in, in the Nicene Creed. I am asking oh, oh, you. So, so the the what in, in the Bible is a text which says... Very interesting. No. Let me answer. Can I? You've now gone to a completely Agreed. new uh, what area. Agreed. What did I say? What did I say? Now starting no, what was my point? That matters. What was my point? I'm allow you to repeat it. Okay. Very good. That's a sign of you know someone who's listening. Thank you. He says I am he saying. About that, about about this. This. No, listen. I am saying. Look. Yes, we need to. We need to derive doctrines from scripture. Do you agree? Sir. 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 No, I don't agree. So where do we derive de 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 doctrines from? I'll explain this. When Jesus Christ ascended into heaven, he didn't command for a, word to be, a single word to be written down, and he never wrote a word down. What he did was establish his followers in something, an institution, the oldest institution in the world called the church. They took the gospel message to the four corners of the world with no Bibles. Those words were later collated in fragmentary form and later canonized into what we see as the modern New Testament. I know that, and you know that, Mansour. And I just want to reiterate that in 325, that church that was already conducted, this is pre-canon 325, before uh, Codex Sinaiticus 3, you know, this is, this is before that. So before the Bible was canonized, the Christian church was already espousing the Trinitarian doctrine. So that verse that you gave us, which was a later interpolation, has no effect on the Trinitarian gospel as espoused by the Christian church from its beginning. Okay, let me That's respond, me. let me respond. So what I said, do we need to derive doctrine from the scripture? You said no. Not all of them, no. Oh, no, all of them. Well, okay, fine. Not. So, that's fine. Before that's fine. There was so a now, Bible, uh, no, hang on. See, say that again. I'm, I'm listening. Be careful in what I say. You First mm -hmm. century. Do, do we, we derive... need to derive our doctrines from our sacred scripture? Wait a minute. Those Mansour's doctrine. gone to the I'm not speaking to you, I'm now. speaking to you. Oh, hell no, Mansour. No, no. You've got the whole different point right now. No. Stay on well, top the, of it. The Nicene Creed is not in the Bible. However, the elements that compose the Nicene Creed are. Okay, so we should be able to find a clear-cut scripture to derive doctrines from. Scriptures, like, not one. Look, elements, scriptures, plural, elements, plural, right? Yeah. Them, yeah. Listen, listen well. then... Exactly. If, 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 if we want to believe that God is three in one, that there is a Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, the scripture should elaborate it to be the case. Guess what? The only elaboration we find is in a forged verse in the Middle Ages. So where are they? Hang on. Where do we find... That's not true, man. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Either you're lacking. So where are the biblical text? Are you, doing, are you a liar? Let him speak. Let him speak. Remind me your name Colin, again. Colin. 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 Either you're a liar, man. Where so are the texts? One of those two. Demonstrating to construct that that listen. No, no. Listen to what I'm saying. No, no, no. Text that elaborates that there are three who are one and they're all the three that are one God. So we need to find a verse or verses which elaborates which elaborates this doctrine that there are three persons. The Father, let me finish. And then you can, three persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. So where 
in the Bible in its entirety is this elaborated? Go ahead, Colin. You can leave him. You can leave him. Go ahead. In my research, funny, I had a conversation. I think it was EF Dower over there. You can ignore any of that. Let's let's talk about the evidence now. And a lady was trying to explain the Trinitarian formula. And as a Christian, I accept as my explanation of conviction for my Christian position. I understand that the foundation of the Christian Church was purely Jewish. All these destroy anybody. Yes, they were. And the Jews brought with them to the table as the foundation of my faith anybody. the belief that God is a father and that God is a spirit. And I'll just give you a few verses. In the Jewish Colin, Colin, can I just no, 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 I won't start yet. They lose the Trinity. Go ahead, Colin. Carry on. Okay, I've got one minute. Right, here's my evidence. First of all, Jewish understanding of God the Father. For I'm the Father of Israel. I don't need to do any more. You should call me Father and not turn away from me. Oh Lord, thou art Father, we are the clay. There are there are so many uh, Bible verses that show that the Jews believed and called and recognized God as a Father. God the Spirit. The first verse we go to is Genesis 1. Now the earth was formless and the void was in darkness and the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was was hanging on the surface. When the Lord said, my spirit shall strive against you, the spirit of God hath made me. Where can I go from thy spirit? The Jews understood God as father and they understood God as spirit. That's why, and that was a binitarian. They believed in the one God. Next one over to man. So I'll do the, I'll do the second of the three after you want to give me any response. Colin, yeah. this is why it's so important to listen to what people ask you about I what did. to explain. I, did. I, didn't I didn't ask you. Let me tell you now what I didn't ask you. Mansour is a liar. I did before, before Mansour carries on, I did Mansour not ask said you. that the, the so Mansour said that the addition that you talked can you, about can you, that was not sorry, huh? Yeah, Colin, yeah. Colin. Sorry, sorry. Mansour Colin. said on, that, just to Mansour to said okay. that the addition that you mentioned. The late interpretation. Yes, yes. Uh, um, uh, he said that beyond that, you could not find me any other instance of the, of the Trinity, Trinity being described. Formula. You gave it to him, and then now he's going to sidetrack and claim that actually, when it said that God was there in, in the beginning, that's what actually God or Jesus is talking about. So, this, so essentially, unless Mansour is going to directly tackle every verse you just gave him that, 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 that links to Trinitarian formula, then he's lying in to you. In fairness, though, there are so many more oh, verses hear that the Christians well. believe Jesus was God, but I'm saving that for the last one. Yes. Please so unless Mansour can, right? can, can, can hear very well speak, right? and contemplate something, right. then he's lying. So, yeah. so... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not a Tell me when you finish, right? Right. Yes. right. No so, notice what I asked and what I didn't ask. Liar. I'm gonna. Well, then talk, man. Just talk over it. If you want to say it, okay. Okay. So please, you don't talk either. Okay. Is that fine? No. Yeah. Is that fine?